everybody. It's Carrie. Don't worry. I am not vlogging down the public road. I'm vlogging down my driveway. If you've been here for a hot minute on my channel, you know that I used to vlog down my driveway all the time because it's so long. So today is Saturday. We have a week into the market and I am running to stores today. So I decided I was gonna bring you guys along so we could get out of the house because it's been a long time since I left my house. <laughs> and we're gonna go to two stores. I have to pick up two mermaids from one store. They just haven't sold and I didn't really have time or the desire to remake them for the market. So I decided I would just take them out of the store and then take them to the market. And then the other store we're going to, we're gonna be dropping off basically this bag of plushies at that store. And that's gonna be my last drop until the market. Even though I'm actually setting up in front of the store for the market, I believe. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead, do my weekly drop there, even though it is Saturday. And then I just don't have to worry about trying to get out there before the market. Whoa, big bump. Whoa, big bump. And then it will be a lot easier for me. So I'm about to get on the road. We are off to one store. I'll try and videotape as much as possible. And yeah, off we go with all the plushies. Alrighty, everyone. The mermaids. So I have my pink one and then I grabbed the purple one. They have both been secured from the store, which is why I came out here. I didn't bring anything extra because I didn't really need to bring anything extra to this one particular store right now. And then with the market coming up, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna wait after the market. If I need to replace anything, restock anything, then I will do so then because I will feel a little bit more confident about digging into my stock a ton. So I'm having to give up a decent amount of stock here. I think I brought like 20 something things. I didn't wanna go too crazy, but now we're gonna go to the second store and that is about a 32 minute drive so let's head over there okay everybody it is now the next day so it's month no it's sunday oh my goodness but it is the next day. I did end up going to the store. I didn't really vlog it because if I'm being honest, nothing really happened. I basically dropped off two turtles and that was all I needed to drop off. So I honestly probably didn't even need to go, but for my sake, wanted to go and just like have it off my list and say, okay, well, I've gone to all the stores. I don't have to worry about it with the market coming up, but it is the next day. I decided I would show you guys a little bit of what I have packed up already. But with that being said, I think it's very important to realize that I'm not a super organized person, especially when it comes to my life and crochet with my horses. I am like organized. I keep everything really clean, but because I spend so much time like putting effort in there, it kind of falls apart in aspects of my life that I don't really care about. And that is kind of like myself. Like I don't really care about myself that much and the yarn room I do all right with but there's just so much stuff and I say like before markets it gets really crazy up in here before markets I always spend time and like clean the room but it's so crazy right now but I'm going to show you basically some of the stuff so basically right here oh look that shirt on the ground is the one I use when I have to record fancy videos but right here are basically three boxes that are I would say pretty much stuck to the full, like I could squeeze a few more things in there if I needed to, but honestly, I'm probably not touching them. This is kind of like squids, turtles, sharks, that type stuff. That's more of like stingrays, whales, axolotls, all that type stuff. So I still have things to add to there. So I have it open because I still have to make some more turtles, squids, all the type things. That is gonna be my box that I'm putting like the remaining new stuff I make. I honestly might be able to get my flowers in there, which would be great because then I wouldn't have to take another box. But I had really big goals for my flowers. This is basically what I have over here, my flowers. I had such big goals. I was going like 20 and 30 per flower. It's just not gonna happen. I think I can get like a couple more roses done, maybe a couple more sunflowers, but the 20, 30, are not happening and I only have two of the new flower. I guess I should have kept the other two I made for the market and not taken them to the store, but I didn't really think about it. I didn't think this moth would go like this and I didn't think it would be this crazy. And then over there are just a few more kind of large items, I guess you could say that I put in there. That's kind of what I'm at right now for market. I think a total I'll be bringing six, seven, eight, no, nine boxes, including the box that has like bags, tissue paper, all that stuff. So a couple more boxes than I normally bring. I think I usually bring seven, so maybe two more. 
I'm uncertain, but that's kind of where I'm at. I've got a few things that I still need to finish up, do, but I'm doing all right. I will say I'm experiencing a lot of pain today, more than normal. Like I have my baseline pain and I can tolerate it. It doesn't really bother me that much. It's just like there, but today it's really like affecting my crocheting. Mainly this left hand fingers, like my joints just hurt a lot. And my forearm is like hurts and it's going numb. I don't know if maybe I just slept on it weird. And maybe like I pinched a nerve somewhere. Cause like even when I'm not crocheting, my forearm is like tingling. So I'm not really certain what that's about. So it's definitely slowing me down today. Luckily I got my list of items. Like I'm looking at it right now. And technically I only have like four different patterns to complete. And most of them are just like one or two items. So I should definitely be good. And then I think I'm just gonna switch over to flowers for the rest of the week. I haven't talked about this yet. <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said, me talking about all the pain I've been in, I actually signed with two more stores. I know what you guys are thinking, like, girl, this girl is crazy. You're right, I am a little bit crazy. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna make this work, but I did. I signed with two more stores. The opportunity came up and it was just such a good opportunity that I really couldn't turn it down. So I am at four stores currently. With that being said, one store I'm on a six month lease. Once you hit six months, I think it either changed to like monthly or maybe. That one, it's really iffy for me, I'm like, kind of in between deciding if I would want to keep doing it. I just don't know. Like it's a good store, but I just have to keep seeing it's hard. You know, you can have really good moms and you can have really bad moms. But with that being said, I have been able to cover my rent every single month I've been at the store and still make money. It's something I'm thinking about, but the turnaround in that store isn't really big. It's just like, I sell enough items to basically cover rent and then maybe make like a hundred dollars. So I can't complain there. And then the second store, I sold a ton originally, a ton. And then recently I haven't really been having to drop that much off. So it hasn't really been that bad. They do want bigger items, but <laughs> everyone wants intricate items. And I think for the stores, I'm really focusing on smaller items in particular, just because they are a lot easier for me to make. Like if I get a text message, like, hey, you need to make this or I need this. It's a lot easier for me to turn around and do it. And as well, with pricing you find that when you do stores pricing is a really big deal and for this particular store the setup for pricing is different it's a 40 60 split so that's just another factor that i think about with like larger items for an item to sell it has to be priced low or maybe just a couple of dollars marked up for my market price but then at the same time i lose money more I, I mean i lose money just in general because i don't lose money when i'm at markets but i lose money when i do this so i'm just kind of focusing on items that i'm comfortable taking a couple dollars off because they don't really take me like maybe that much sewing, any of those aspects. But when it comes to like the intricate things, I have to sit back and go, okay, I'd rather put those in like stores that are maybe more commission-based where I can set a set price versus stores that maybe want a set price to move the item, which is just, it's just the more you do stores, <laughs> the more you learn things. But with this being said, yes, I have signed two more stores. So I'm in four stores. I have a store in Roswell. I have a store incoming. And then these two new stores, which I'll be moving into like September 1st, I believe, are Alpharetta, I believe, and then Swanee. That's all I'm doing. I'm, I, I shouldn't say that. I don't know if a fifth store came and if it was a good fit. I can't say I deny. But I really, 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 really want to clarify this and just say, because I always have to say this, <laughs> I have a very unique job with horses. I do not have a family in terms of like, I don't have a relationship. I don't have kids. I absolutely want nothing to do with any of that. I'm very fortunate to live at home with my family because we run another business together. So I don't have maybe the responsibilities that other people have. So that allows me to be able to spend more time crocheting and be able to do things like multiple stores or something. So never compare yourself to me because it's really difficult to compare somebody who has a lot of time versus somebody who maybe just has a couple hours a day. And as well, I am focusing a lot on this side of the business to get out of hopefully doing a lot of markets. That's something also really important to note. I actually had to cancel my markets next month and take like a loss because I knew that I needed that month off of markets to just do store stuff and then prep for my October market. My plan for next year is to really try and downscale from markets. I want to go from doing like, oh, 10 markets to three, four. Like I want to get out of doing as many markets as I've been doing. There's just a 
lot of work for me in terms of my barn, finding somebody to take care of the horses. It's a lot, it's really difficult for me. And I always end up having to pay like $300 to somebody to take care of the barn and then I have the market and then it's, it's a lot. It's just, it's just a lot. <laughs> so I, in general, am leaning more towards the store routes opposed to markets. Now markets are great. You know, I am extremely fortunate that most of my markets, I do walk out of there making a good deal of money in one day. But at the same time, I'd rather be spaced out and maybe just get it once a month and me not have to be there all day and like sell things. And uh, there's just so much to think about, but I'm gonna go get something to eat. I made one of these crocodiles and I have to make one more. I'm not certain if I'm gonna make this or if I'm gonna work on the flamingos, but I'm gonna get something else done. Then I'll have four days. Oh, <gasps> four days. I should be able to get my list done. I should be able to. Noon, everyone. It is officially a little bit later. Really not that much later. I think it is the, oh gosh, what day is it? <laughs> it's the 13th of August and it is late though it's almost 10 p.m but i wanted to come on here and just kind of give an update i guess because of course the market is coming up i mean i'm essentially giving me three more days to crochet luckily this time i have been tagging through creating which is going to make friday a day i can actually crochet opposed to i used to wait and <laughs> tag everything on the fridays before market so it would take me like six seven hours to tag everything so this time around i have made an effort to like actually tag as i'm working through so i'm hoping that that will make life a little easier i do have basically this box right here of stuff that i'll make my what i crocheted in a week video with so i'll do that and really i think honestly let me show you guys on my list i don't have that much left to do <laughs> actually made a list this time just between juggling with like stores and everything i was like okay let me make an effort to put down a list i always do it and then it just never works out but this time i did do one so basically i think the only thing i have left to do is to make four axolotls in total two pink two purple to give me back up to four on each i have written down nine possums i've already crocheted six of them so technically i would only have to make like what three more possums and technically i I have three of the turtle colors except i do have or i did make back up my four of the pink ones i have like some that have sewn eyes some with the safety eyes so technically i'm in really good shape <laughs> in terms of plushies because like oh my gosh even if i make turtles uh, i'm basically looking at 10 more items in total in three days which for me is like that's a lot of time but instead i have been refocusing my attention on flowers i had some crazy dreams or goals for this market with my flowers i was going to do like 20 of each flower and honestly i think i would have been able to accomplish it if i hadn't had so much store stuff going on and just getting like sidetracked with having to supply you know like stores so then i would be like oh i'm done with this item i can move on to the next thing and then i was like no two days later i gotta remake everything so i'm back to focusing on flowers now have some some flowers oh gosh it's hard to do this i don't usually vlog like this but i'm hoping you guys will enjoy this a little bit better to have like more movement and not just me sitting in one spot so let me know if you guys do enjoy this because that'll help me plan for the future but and then i have roses all this lavender carnations this one oh my gosh carnations don't fall over and then this is the second one i had i actually made more but i had taken them to a store and i honestly wish i hadn't <laughs> because i would love to have them for myself to like premiere them. Tonight I have made two more of the sunflower heads. I'm actually like, I think I have like four more petals to make a third one, but I don't really feel like crocheting much longer. I just wanted to come on here, record a little bit because I forgot and I'll go to bed because it's almost 10 o'clock and then got some more like roses I'm gonna do. So I should have 10 more flowers I think done. I have all the lavender. I want to still try and get a couple more carnations done in the ideal world but three days i mean <laughs> i have to be kind of realistic about so many things and timing and the past two days just have not gone how i was planning yesterday i had my farrier come out to do my horses which always takes up a little bit of time and like kind of throws things off but i ended up having somebody leave my barn today and it was nothing bad it was just like you know 
sometimes things need to happen and this needed to happen a little bit ago and then it just finally like reared its head and so I had somebody leave today so then that just ended up taking a lot more time than I anticipated. Today was actually my off day from riding so I was gonna get like everything done. That did not happen. I think I got like four or five uh, triceratops, just the small ones crocheted and then I done three sunflowers I think so it just kind of didn't go for my plan for say but overall I do think I'm in decent shape I mean granted like like I said I've got bins and bins so it's not like I'm going in with a low amount of items it's just I had a lot of goals <laughs> and I didn't really hit those goals for say but I always try and bring so many new patterns to a market and realistically it's just like not happening this market. I have to tell myself it's okay. I think I've explained myself already that like most of the people that are going to be at this market haven't gone to any of my other markets. So I'm not like too worried and when you have as big of a crowd as they're slating it's kind of like your products are going to be new to so many people just because you're always bringing in new people. So I'm not too worried about it. Just kind of like it is what it is. And then essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do this market on Saturday. When I get home, I will pull probably a majority of my small items, pick through some stuff and set aside so many items for the new stores that I'm moving into on the 31st. Wow, I'm just, as I was sitting here, I just realized that I have to move into stores when I have a new horse moving into my barn. It's gonna be crazy. I'll pick through everything, write down what I'm taking to the store, and then from there I will just go back to remaking everything because my next market will be October 5th. I am taking September off from markets. I was originally supposed to have two. I dropped out of all of them. October 5th will be my next big market. The attendance for that market is supposed to be pretty high. So I will just kind of focus the rest of the time on market prepping and stores. And I'm going to try and limit the amount of custom work I do. I kind of told somebody I'd maybe do a custom thing for them. So I might do one or two, but doing a ton of customs is just not going to work for me right now. <laughs> but I wanted to give you guys an update. I don't know if I'll be on tomorrow. But I'm just getting ready and then I will try and vlog as much as I can leading up to the market actually and then the market. But uh... <laughs> you know how it is with me. It only goes so well for so long. Well everyone, it is now the 14th, so Wednesday night. Yes, Wednesday night. I was able to record a video this morning and I got pretty much everything tagged and packaged away. So I have four boxes that are full. This one box right here, which is going to be full. I don't know what I'm gonna stuff with it. The back box over there is kind of full, kind of not, but I think I'm gonna have to use an extra box anyway because I don't think I'm gonna be able to stuff everything. Like I can't put these two. Two boxes over there. And then I have my growing flower mass over there and I have to take a custom that has been needing to be picked up for like I don't I can't even tell Christmas time is when I made this right supposedly it's gonna get picked up this Saturday we'll see if it happens but I got everything tagged I got pretty much everything done with my list I mean the only thing I might make would be like maybe a couple more possums but I have seven so I feel like even if I don't do it I'm okay pretty much for the most part I'm gonna be focusing on flowers so I started my last sunflower that I need to make so I think that has me at like seven sunflowers sounds all right to me and then I'll probably focus on making a few carnations because I only have two and I feel like since I have so many of the other flowers that I need to like make a few more carnations because it's just gonna be weird if I only have two and then I'm not certain if people are gonna notice them so Pretty much for the rest of the time, I'm going to be focusing on flowers. I have pretty much everything packed up, so I'm very excited about that. The only thing I'm not super excited for, supposedly, there is a chance of rain this Saturday, which is like so funny because we've had no rain over the past week. We have no rain this week, currently. And then next week, it's not supposed to rain. Like, the only day we're supposed to possibly get rain 
is Saturday. It's a low chance, like 50%, but it is technically summertime. So, you know, it, it's kind of like in the South, you never know what's gonna happen. So I'm a little worried about that because I don't typically do markets when it rains just because of the product, but this is such a long market and it's gonna be scattered thunderstorms. It's so hard because I can't tell you how many times we do scattered thunderstorms and then we get like nothing. So I might have to actually whip out my tent sides. I've never used them before, but my tent does have the option to have the sides. I'm thinking that like, if it did start to rain, I could do the tent sides and then maybe, this sounds crazy, right? Maybe even like throw up a tarp or something to the front to just like cover it until the rain is over with because it's not supposed to be like rain, like raining all day. I think it's just supposed to be like, if it does rain, you'll get like spotty showers or like pop-up thunderstorms but because this is an outdoor market and it's rain or shine like every single market down here there's never any rain dates i kind of have to figure it out but i'm hoping maybe which i don't think it will but i hope maybe as we get closer we'll change i think probably what i end up having to do is just like wake up saturday and then look at my phone and see what the weather's saying and then pretty much you know make my decision from there because i am not the weatherman and i do not control the weather as much as I wish I did. Pretty much for the rest of the night, I think I'm gonna take like an early break. It's almost 9.30, so pretty early for me. I usually end up like crocheting till 10. And I will probably just do some work stuff on my computer and give my hands a break. And then tomorrow I'll just finish crocheting flowers. Like I said, I could try and get a few more things done, but realistically it's like, I know if I start something, like if I add a new animal to do, I'm not gonna be able to get it done and not feel like freaking out. <laughs> Already everyone, it is Thursday morning. So I think it's the 15th, I think. We'll call it the 15th. I finished up the last sunflower in terms of crocheting. Now I'm basically, I just have to assemble the last to the other ones over there. So I just have these two. And then I think in total, we'll have eight sunflowers. And then I, th I can't remember. I don't know if I told you guys, I have like 10 lavender, I think. And then eight roses, nine roses. I have more over there. It's just like, am I gonna make the parts or not? That's the question. I have two of these carnations. So now my attention is going to focus on the carnations. I have a lot of stuff already packed up. Here are four boxes. I'm proud that I've already done that because it's kind of hard for me to do. I want this box right here and I want that box right there to be even more full because I don't know. I just like, I look at the space and I'm like, what? I could be doing more, but then I don't have that much time. So I can't be doing more. <laughs> so I think what I might do is I typically bring a really small box and put the flowers in there and everything. But what I'm thinking is, I think I'll have enough space in that box right there to put most of the flowers, the baskets, the pebbles and stuff to hold everything down. And then maybe if I need extra space to actually put like flowers, I'll put them in that box so I can have them full. I'm a little worried. <laughs> I'm hoping Dora, my explorer, my car, can hold all this stuff. Typically, I ride by myself, so I have like my whole, you know, car and everything. This market, I'm not. It's gonna be me, and then my mom is actually gonna ride with me because she comes and helps me and everything. Because the person who's helping with my barn is capable enough now that we don't need to like be there to help her out or anything. So she's gonna ride with me. So I'm already not gonna have the front seat. I typically don't bring as many boxes. I think I'm usually like six boxes for plushies. This market, I'm bringing five, six, seven, eight, eight boxes of plushies. And then I'll have my one box that has like bags and everything. And then of course, what's in my car still, I didn't take it out because why would I take it out? I have my tables, three tables, tent, weights, and then I have all of the boxes that I also use for setup. The only good news is right now, guys, right now, the rain chances have changed a little bit. So I'm feeling a little bit better. I need them to just like, like we need rain. Don't get me wrong, but I need it to rain once I'm like done with the market, like eight o'clock or seven o'clock or just like, let me get out of the market and get everything in my car. And then it can pour, like I I'll work with it. I'm hoping that the weather will kind of stay what it's looking like, like maybe a chance of showers in the morning and then possibly thunderstorms in the afternoon, but 
I can't tell you how many times I've seen where it's like no chance of thunderstorms and then we get like severe th storms. And then I have other times where it's like 100% chance and it's like sprinkles. You can't really trust the weather. But I'm gonna start working on carnations. I actually have the beginning of one carnation that I started. This is the beginning of one carnation. Now I'm gonna look through and decide from some of my acrylic yarn. I have, you know, more everywhere because yarn just always goes everywhere with me. <laughs> so I'm gonna look through and I'm gonna decide what colors, but the carnation colors are really throwing me off. I love like roses. I love lavender where it's like pink, red, lavender, purple. Really easy for me to sit down and make things. When there's like too many options and color schemes, I'm like, what am I doing? Like seriously, what am I doing? When I tell you guys that I have the camera right now literally propped up on like three tiny little things in a bag of pretzels, I'm not kidding. I wanted to give a different angle and I'm not holding the camera right now. It is Thursday night, so August 15th and I have been done with like my crochet list for like a couple hours and it's throwing me off. I usually feel like I never go into a market actually having completed like a list. Like there's always something that I'm missing. But a couple hours ago, I think I basically finished up like everything at like, I don't even know, five, which is crazy. I ended up deciding to do six carnations in total. All the carnations are done, sunflowers are done, roses are done. It's kind of throwing me off though because I'm used to like crocheting and I do have those two stories that I'm going to be stocking soon but I don't really want to like sit down and start necessarily making things for those stores because a lot of it is probably just going to end up like whatever I have left over of my stock from the market then I need to like sort through and then I can actually sit down and then like figure out concrete numbers but because I don't really know like I can't really go ahead and start that process I did decide to look at some new patterns, which is like never ending for me. I'm always looking at new patterns and I'll show you guys what I just made. I have been asked a few times about ladybugs. It's really like not something that I typically would do or go for, but I have been asked. So I figure I would make one <laughs> and the spots are kind of all over the place. Like there's nothing uniformed by anything I do. So I just throw them wherever. I don't really think ladybugs are super uniform are they i don't know i just made this little ladybug it really didn't take me that long i think honestly maybe like 30 minutes 40 minutes granted i do think if i made them again in the future i would honestly maybe go out and buy parfait in black i had it in red of course and since sweet snuggle is light doesn't do Red. I did do parfait and sweet snuggles light. I'm fine mixing the two of them. It's okay, but I do find that when you have a larger quantity or amount of different brands that you're using, especially when they are different sizes, sometimes it is a bit more noticeable and I have a little bit harder time with tension. So sometimes the premiere will just be like looser a little bit more than the sweet snuggles, just simply because, I mean, Premiere is considerably thinner. I did get this guy done. I probably will end up making one more tomorrow so I can have two. And besides that, what I really think I'm gonna do is right now I'm editing a video. This is gonna be the crochet with me video. I ended up going through my camera last night and going through the files. I had about 70 videos on my camera. They were like spanning from months back. So yesterday night I went through, I picked out the videos that I felt like still had relevance. My crochet of me video. I had two clips that were kind of centered around enough of the previous market I did. So I got those clips aside. I have to edit that. And then I've got some like short videos that need editing, all of that. So I think really, I'm considering today and then I'll crochet a little bit like I always have to crochet every single day I can't just not crochet a day I don't know what I would do so probably tomorrow I'll crochet like maybe another ladybug maybe something small I don't really stress myself over it and then I'll probably spend tomorrow editing and getting things ready packing the car any of those last minute things but i feel like this is probably one of the more prepared markets that i've actually attended like for me personally i usually am scrambling the day before so the fact that i'm feeling like prepared enough that like i sat at the piano tonight and sang is 
not normal. <laughs> Usually I have no time to like sit down and do anything I want to do, but it's 9.24. I'm gonna work on editing this crochet with me video because I really would like to get it out before Saturday. And then if I have time, which I think this is gonna take me probably the rest of the night to get like halfway through since I still have like 15 minutes to go through of editing and kind of translates like 40 minutes for me. So I'm gonna work on this and then I will check in with you guys either tomorrow or when we are at the market. Well, everyone, it is the night before the market, so it is the 16th, and guess what? It's raining. Mm-hmm. So I'm really hoping, because it is raining right now, that means that tomorrow it won't rain. My phone says it's supposed to rain until like three, and I'm gonna wake up at 4.20 tomorrow to do my horses and I get them outside and then I have somebody who's going to come a little bit later and help take care of like the rest of the barn that I can't get done and then bring the horses in since I'll be at the market. My load in time is at 7 so I have to leave here at like 6.40 to get there. The funny thing is if you are ever going to do markets, here's my fair warning for anyone starting. Just know you will never be the only crochet person. <laughs> I think when I started doing markets, I kind of just like assumed that there might not be a lot of people doing crochet or maybe just like they wouldn't be doing like all of the markets. But just know you will very likely probably not be the only one and there might just not be like one other person. I think this market in total, there's four or five crochet people. I'm actually... <laughs> Like this keeps happening to me. I'm actually like four tenths down or five from another crochet person. The last market I did with this particular organization, my neighbor was a crochet person and we both did amigurumi. <laughs> when I was unloading and they were unloading and we both looked at the boxes and I looked at their bags, we both looked at each other and were like, same organization, so honestly, I'm like not that surprised. Just always a little fun tidbit. If you're gonna do markets, you're not gonna be the only crochet person. It is what it is. You know, sometimes it can be good if you're near somebody because then maybe they like somebody compare, but then at the same time, it's not good because they can compare quality and price really easily. Sometimes it's better because like, I'm always in the back of the market, typically. This is my first time being on the main street and there's usually a crochet person at the way, way front of this market. So they'll typically go to theirs and then sometimes they buy things from the other crochet people. And then since I'm typically the last one, then it's like they've already bought crochet stuff and they don't want to buy it. So it'll be interesting to see how the difference is going to be with me being more in the main area even if I do have a lot of crochet people around me. I really think that if you're gonna do crochet markets and you know that there's going to be a lot of competition with other crochet vendors, that's one of the reasons why I always tell people that I think variety is extremely extremely important. I'm constantly adding new patterns that I'm doing. If I think that a pattern is getting like too overdone at markets, I drop it like right away. If I see too many and people I know are like, like when a little kid comes up to your table, cause I've had this happen and says, why does every crochet person have this one plushie? I get rid of it the next market. It's just what I do. I think that in situations like this, variety is extremely important because that's gonna be one of the big things that sets you apart from other competitors. But I have the market tomorrow, like I said, it's pouring. Luckily the wind stopped. It was a little sketch. I am surrounded by trees. <laughs> so I stood outside when it was like gusting 50 mile per hour winds, staring at my trees, wondering if anything was gonna break. No trees so far have broken. Fingers crossed this is cleared by tomorrow. And there's no rain tomorrow, so I don't have to worry at all about my horses and everything because that's always my number one concern because it's gonna be raining a lot or if there's really bad thunderstorms then I just won't go but I'd really like to go. Basically for the rest of the night I think it's like 8 34. I'm not gonna crochet. My left hand is hurting again and I don't know what it is and because the market's tomorrow there's nothing I can do to change it. I'm just gonna take the rest of today or tonight off and I probably won't crochet tomorrow. Last couple of markets, I've been bringing like a lot of things to do. I know that this market in particular, even when it's slow, it's not really like that slow. Like you might have lulls, 
but since I am on the main street, there's gonna be a lot more action. I'm not gonna take any yarn, but I will bring my camera so I can record for you guys. And then probably the rest of the night, I am just going to edit, <laughs> but I say that. And I am so bad about editing, guys, because like literally, Five minutes in, I'll start to just completely fall asleep. And not just a little, like full on head to the side sleeping. But because I am getting up a little bit earlier, I think probably what I'll end up doing is once I start to get really tired and cannot physically force myself to stay awake any longer, because it's typically what happens, I will probably just go to bed early. I think, I can't remember the last time I went to bed at nine. It's gotta be like months. <laughs> I've got my computer. That's it for the rest of the night. I will see you guys tomorrow with however much footage I can get at the market. Okay. Yeah, my box. Linda. Okay, everyone. This is under the camera. Under the table. It's 12.17. It's been going good. Okay, everyone. It is 12.41. We only have, what, four hours coming up soon? Four hours. There's Marinda. Uh. If you can... <laughs> but it's going good. I don't. I think we sold out a few things, right? Like the unicorns, the cream ones. Um, I don't know. What other things? There's been a few other things. Oh, the dragons have been very popular. Yes. We just sold a hammer head. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, the little fuzzy bees have been kind of popular, so we're going. We're kicking. We're trying. Four more hours. Hopefully, no storms. No storms. Lavender. Oh, you're good. My new flowers are the. Oh gosh, what am I blank? What are those flowers called? Why am I blanking on it? Sunflowers. No. The ones at the end of the carnation. Carnation. There we go. <laughs> this is my first market bringing those. Those are the only. Those are my last little guys that are like that. And those guys are made out of wool, opposed to this Chanel type yarn. So they're nice and fuzzy. <laughs> oh, you wanted the. Okay, so I'll ask you. Do you want that floaty or do you want the other Because I think, like, do you want that specific stuff? I can change out the floaty. Want this floating? Yeah. Perfect. That's great that you pop off. I'll get, let me get this floating on and I will get this one right. I can get you a little bag. Yeah, I'd like this one too. So these guys? Perfect. I would need out five and I can do cash cards. Like the plastic. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you want to do the cash card? Yeah. Make sure I do the right map. I have to do it like three times. <laughs> Always want to make sure. Uh, okay. Okay. Do you, would you like a receipt? Here you go, and then in that little bag, there's going to be a carrot guy, just in case if it were to ever get dirty for whatever reason, it just helps you have to take care of it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Brenda, smile. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Alright guys, 3.40. An hour and 20 left until we can break down. An hour and 20. It has slowed down. Tremendously. We're gonna push through, but it is supposed to rain at 5.15, 5.30, so... Maybe they'll let us unpack. Maybe.
Alrighty, everyone. Can you tell I'm tired? I'm tired. I usually can handle, like, waking up early, and I don't think the waking up was the problem. I just think the sheer difference between, like, being outside in the heat all day kind of killed me. But it's very pretty outside. You guys can't see it, but there was a rainbow not that long ago. Very pretty. Come with me. We are going to my very messy yarn room. I mean, look at this, please. I don't understand how people have beautiful yarn rooms because it's just, <laughs> it's not happening. And we're gonna pick out what we're working on next, which my site, yep, yeah, this, I think I have red already over there, so we'll do that. But we're gonna start working on mushrooms. Now that the market is over, my attention changes. I'm switching to store, 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 store. I know that I have to do a drop off, I think like tomorrow or something at, one store so i'm dropping off flowers and then a few of my bigger items when i say bigger i mean like a loaf cat baby flamingo maybe a dog and then like tiger elephant sunflowers carnations roses so i'll do that tomorrow once i'm done riding my horse and are gonna get started on the next store next two stores oh my gosh <laughs> Well, and then I'll also figure out about what I'm buying for the setup. And I need to get together with somebody about getting the care cards done on the tags. But I think my plan is I'm going to at least start trying to crochet something because I hardly crocheted the past two days. So I think I'm going to just try and get maybe like one or two little mushrooms done and then go to bed. But I have such a bad headache. It is so bad. And I just think it's from being outside my voice hurts so bad guys and i think same thing it's just like i've been talking a lot and there was a lot of music so i was talking really loud <laughs> trying to keep my energy up so my energy is very low right now and i drank like five cokes today and coffee and three gatorades and seven waters and i still have a headache and i ate i don't understand i'm gonna start working on this these mushrooms just to do something they're nice, they're easy. Try and get some editing done, but I have a feeling once I start editing, I'm gonna definitely fall asleep. Tomorrow, we will sit down and go through my boxes, pick some things out, figure out what needs to be remade, and then also set some goals for the October 5th market. Alrighty, everybody, it is Sunday. I was able to get four of these little mushrooms done this morning. Now it is about one o'clock and we are actually gonna head to two of the stores. I really wasn't planning on it, but one of the stores yesterday was like, we need stuff. And I told them that after the market, I would bring the things. And then I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna be out, I might as well go to the other store because there's a lot of motivation to get me outside of my house. <laughs> so I just finished up eating. I've got my little bag. I always bring the same bag. It is my little witch cat Halloween bag. So I got everything in there and I'm gonna head out, change the fit, very comfy. Changed out of my riding clothes. Well, technically, cause my pants had a hole in them. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead over to the store. I won't be able to do my barn. I'm gonna have my mother help me with it today. And hopefully I'll be back by 2.30 because usually I leave at like 11.30, 12. It's almost one. Hoping I don't hit Sunday traffic. I might hit Sunday traffic. This is a bad time. Well, everyone, it is now Sunday the 18th. And I wanted to come on here as I'm basically winding down for the day. I'm done with crocheting. I crocheted a lot today, so I'm gonna be in so much pain tomorrow. Let me show you guys. So I got essentially two of these guys, two more, so four chicks in total. And then um, six of these mushrooms done today. So I was able to crochet about 10 items. That was with me being gone for a good deal today. I had the market yesterday. I'm of course feeling a little bit better now that I like slept and all that type of stuff. Still hurting a little bit, you know, but I wanted to come on here and just get my quick thoughts really quickly and then record an outro, but market was really good. 
I had a lot of nerves going into the market due to the situation because it was raining and it actually poured on me in the morning at like five o'clock. I was so worried about leaving and then the possibility of storms. And then we were also supposed to have storms during the market. And luckily it waited until like six, 6.30 by the time I got home, it was storming, but it didn't actually rain during the market. This market was really good. I always tell people, even though the price of this market is high, it's the most expensive single day market that I typically do at $220. They do a ton of kids stuff, which for somebody like me who does crochet and everything with the plushies, that is a big deal. And I find that I do generally better at markets that do focus a lot on the kid aspect because you get like a lot of kids running around and that kind of brings in the traffic for sales. All the good things. This past market was actually almost as profitable as my November market, which was very surprising to me because my November market was really, really good and that was during Christmas time, so it made sense. When I look back on it, I realized that I was pretty much busy from about 9 a.m. until about like 3.30. I think the last hour, hour and a half, sales definitely dropped down a ton. But at the same time, I was still making a few sales. I think probably my last sale was when I was packing up. So probably about like 4.55 was my last sale. So pretty much I was selling things before the market started and then I was selling them after. I think actually I had pretty much paid back my table fee within the first hour maybe even before the market started and i say first hour in the regards that i had people buying at nine o'clock even though the market started at 10. so i basically had my table paid back pretty much at the beginning of the market which was great i had a good time i got to see so many people i know so many repeat customers it really makes my day getting to talk to them all i recognize so many of the people who are repeat customers even if they've only shopped with me once i pretty much recognize them right away and it's so funny because i don't know if they expect me to recognize them or remember their kids and even what they bought the last time i saw them but i do i really try my best to remember everyone so i had some great conversations with people who've ordered from me before and all in all, it was a great day. I had a few interactions that made me kind of like do my eyes a little bit. There was one in particular that stands out where somebody who was not a little kid, I'd say they were about teenager age, came over to my table and were looking at my items and telling me that everything was way too expensive and that other crochet vendors had their items, some of them marked down like, I think there was one item I sold for 12, they were selling it for 10, da 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 da. And so they just kept telling me how overpriced everything was, and that it was crazy that I could even expect to get this for certain items. And I just was like, okay, yeah, great, I don't know why. I didn't really ask. <laughs> But I have gotten fairly well that when people say that stuff to me, especially to my face in person, I just start to go and nod my head and just don't reply. Or I've told people before, if that's the case, then go purchase from them. It was very funny that after all of this and being told all of this, this person was dead set and kept saying that they wanted to buy a certain item. And I was like, well, I don't wanna to sell it to you. <laughs> Even if you were to get it, I don't want to sell it. <laughs> Besides that, I had a lot of really good interactions. Now I'm planning ahead for the store, which definitely is hurting a little bit because I am definitely going to be running low on a lot of stock, which is why you're seeing me make so much. I dropped off some stock today at one store, and then by the time I got there, I realized that actually I had to bring even more stock that I was not told about. So I'll be going there probably midweek. I have a custom order pickup, hopefully Friday. So I'm going to see if I can time it up at the same time time because it's at the same location and then the other thing I was going to come on here and talk about very briefly before I go and start editing this video I experienced my first real theft in store wow <laughs> so basically I went to one of the stores first and I was just going to be dropping off like I think I had four items in total right and this is actually a computer system that you do online that you input everything so it was really easy I guess for me to actually be able to recognize the theft opposed to my other store it's not online it's not digital so i'm just kind of going off like hopefully things are there i'm not notified when things are sold i just get a piece of paper at the end of the month and a check no idea over there but granted it is a much smaller store it's very boutique there's 
always people looking. So I don't worry as much there. Versus this location is in a really big building. There's a lot of vendor spaces and there's not really people around that much actually paying attention just because it is such a big store. I mean, it's massive. So I was there today. I was going to drop off an item. And as I was getting ready to drop off the item, my online app said that none of them had sold and that I had one in stock. I had updated it to be two because I was gonna be bringing a new item in. I get there and there is no single item there. There's no plushie at all, even though the system says that nothing is sold and it says the item is in stock. Then I started going through the list and I started going through everything on my system and then I started looking at all of my plushies and that's when I realized that no one but multiple of my plushies have been stolen. I think about three turtles, which right there, that is about $60 for me that has been stolen. I had a rooster, triceratops, tigers, elephants, and a few more things that got picked up off the shelves and are just gone. So essentially, I have lost about $150 to $200 worth of revenue. Somebody just took them. I'm assuming they put them in their purse or their pocket. I'm not super surprised about smaller items because I guess they would be easy if you wanted to steal them to put them in your purse. But I'm kind of impressed that that many turtles have disappeared because they aren't like super small. Like you would have to put them in your purse. Overall, that definitely dampened my mood for the day. I was really happy to begin with and was doing good. And then that put me in a really just sour attitude because it's very frustrating. And of course, even though the items get stolen, I'm not gonna be getting any money from this. I'm just losing money and losing time which is very frustrating for me because of the fact that crochet is so handmade. You know, this is not an item that like I can say, oh, I lost it. Oh, well, you know, maybe I'll just go print some more. Or maybe if I'm like maybe doing like you see some people where it's like you order the stock and then maybe you do like printing on it. Or like, you know, it's just, it, it, it's not a simple thing to make. That's what frustrates me. It's just like all the time and then the materials, all that stuff I just lost. And I can't get it back. I can't get paid for it. It's just gone. And it's so freaking frustrating. Now I work so hard to crochet and I work so hard to make these creations. I don't understand why people just think they can steal things. Like it's not like these things are insanely priced. Like some of these things, depending on some of the items that I've taken, they're the same price as somebody going like out to eat and getting like a meat. I, I, I don't understand. It's, it's so frustrating. And this whole situation has made me so mad. Supposedly the store is getting safety tags. I tagged a few of my items today, but there's a lot more that needs to be tagged. And it's just, it's, it's so, I, I just don't even know how to explain it. Like, it's just so frustrating because I have such limited time and limited stock. I just don't know, like with everything else I have going on with these other stores, like when am I gonna remake these things? And like, I didn't get, I don't know. It's just so frustrating. I just, I don't understand why people wanna do that to just local small businesses that are just like trying to make it. Like I do all of this pretty much to help pay for my horse and his expenses or just expenses trying to keep this business going. Like I don't keep that much money for myself. Honestly, any money that I can set aside, I just put aside to an investment account or I put it aside away from savings. So that way I don't touch it and it just, it's going to like be held. So then that way when my horse has something that comes up or if I have to do anything to help out with my business and try and invest a lot of money with the horse thing, I have the money to go from. I don't spend any of this money for like my own personal things. Like I can't tell you the last time I bought something for myself or like really gone out to eat. Like I just, I try and save all of this money to help pay for all my expenses, my horses. And it's just like, people just like have no decency to just buy something. It's so frustrating. I'm so fed up. It's really upsetting. 
yeah i'm not gonna ramble on too much more because i've already rambled on a lot so i hope you guys enjoyed this video kind of all over the place i did a lot of things i recorded some stuff so hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you saw all of the exciting things that happened this past week in my market and let me know if you guys also enjoy the style of this video i mean of course you guys are set up right here right now because i am working through editing and honestly i just didn't want to hold anything my hands really hurt so i have you guys up there but let me know if you guys also enjoyed having a little bit more of a vlogging style format opposed to you guys just sitting up on the box the whole time i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions so if you guys have a great rest of the week and i'll see you in the next video bye